Hi, I'm Sean Thomas, and this is Two Wheel Tips and Tech, brought to you in under two minutes. Today, we're going to talk about traction control. Now, this is one of those technologies that is relatively new to motorcycles. In the case of BMW, you may know it by names like ASC, meaning Automatic Stability Control, or DTC, meaning Dynamic Traction Control. Each of these vary a bit in functionality, but regardless of the version, if you have traction control on your bike, you've probably used it. Let's take a closer look at the basics of this technology. Bikes with traction control have an indicator on the display that will flash when you start the bike. The flashing will continue until the bike starts rolling and the system can perform a self-check. Once calibrated, the indicator will turn off. As you're riding, the system monitors front and rear wheel speed. If the rear wheel begins to spin faster than the front, say when you throttle through a patch of gravel on the road, for example, the traction control will activate, reducing the power applied to the rear wheel in an attempt to equalize wheel speed. When traction control intervenes, the indicator will flash rapidly. On some models, traction control can be overridden. There's a button near the grip that allows you to turn it off even when you're in motion. Simply hold down the button until this indicator lights up solid. The traction control system is now bypassed. Hold the button down again to turn it back on. Just keep in mind that when overridden, you will not enjoy the benefits of this technology. It's also important to remember that traction control does not replace safe riding practices. So remember to always be a safe and diligent rider. Well, there you have it, folks, a briefing on BMW traction control. I'm Sean Thomas. Stay tuned for more Two Wheels, Two Minutes. Rock on.